Roland, let's go back to uh, a previous film of yours, Universal Soldier. You know, Dolph Lundgren, mm -hmm. Jean-Claude Van Damme, mm -hmm. two guys who are known as being pretty macho, a lot of posturing. Mm -hmm. How did you set the tone on that film with those guys? It was like this, you know. Uh, you know, they, they, they actually it was pretty good for me that I was European. It was a total different kind of uh, feeling because uh, uh, Jean-Claude is Belgian and uh, Dolph is Swedish. So there was like kind of a totally other way I probably talked to them. But um, the good thing was they kind of were like very aware of each other. And everybody wanted to not be the person who makes trouble. So it was actually a very kind of like a fun shoot because uh, they, you know, they, they kind of, uh, kind of, nobody wanted to really kind of do something, yeah. you know, like, like not go over the, you know. So I had like really a, a nice time with them because they kind of like, uh, you know, uh, it was also good, the one was the bad guy, the other was the good guy, so they had, there was like kind of clear role system there. With this film, I was very impressed with all the extras. Mm -hmm. but I'm thinking you're in basically in the middle of nowhere. Mm -hmm. How difficult was it assembling all those extras and just the whole physical transport of them to the location? Mm. That was like pretty, pretty much our biggest problem because what, what really uh, is, the, is the problem there, you have like four hours time you know, to get them on the set, dress them, put makeup on them and position them you know, in the dunes or wherever you want to have them. Then you actually have a very short shooting period where you have to kind of shoot with multiple cameras as much material in like three or four hours, you know, what you can, as fast as you can shoot. And then you need like another four hours to get them off the set and back home in their buses, uh, you know. So you have a very kind of short shooting, so you have to plan out everything like a, like a battle plan and every camera position, everything has to be set way ahead and planned so to, to, to do it. I was reading an old interview with uh, George Lucas mm -hmm. and some of the stars of the original Star Wars film and they said there was a, a major problem with frustration on the actor's part because they couldn't envision how the effects were going to look like. Mm -hmm. Was that a problem for you and how did you deal with that? I think, you know, uh, George Lucas at that time had the problem that uh, people haven't seen what he is doing later. I think uh, actors these days are very aware of what uh, technology can do. Also, it's a little bit easier these days because you don't use blue screen and stuff like that. You simply film it and that's it. And later with the computer you can like pull masks and stuff like that. So it's a little bit easier on the actors these days. Uh, and they don't have to pl play so much against the blue screen anymore. In Long Beach, uh, there was a, uh, an old airplane that Howard Hughes built a few years mm -hmm. ago that, that moved up north not too mm -hmm. long ago. Mm -hmm. Now that, that airplane vacating its premises, how was that beneficial <laughs> for you? Yeah, we had like this huge um, building which was like this museum dome, you know, and we looked for a, 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 a stage and we couldn't find a stage which is big enough than this dome. So we went into this dome and we set like a kind of history there. Now they're shooting Batman 3 there. So it's like probably the new stage in Hollywood. <laughs> you know, when I, when I think of science fiction films, I think of what an incredible risk they are to make. I think of movies like uh, Alien 3 mm. and Dune. Mm -hmm. And, you know, films like this can, can fail. How much pressure did you feel going into this, into, into this project? Was there ever a point where you felt like you hit a wall? That this this is this is such a, a huge project that you weren't quite sure how it would turn out. I kind of have this like philosophy, you know, that every movie is like a big risk and everything is a task. If I'm, you know, what if I'm spending like uh, twenty million dollars for Universal Soldier, I'm not more or less like uh, kind of nervous about if I'm spending fifty million dollars because I think. Uh, like people who give you a certain kind of money to do cer certain kind of movie kind of uh, don't do this like for no reason. You know, they see a certain chance and possibility that the movie kind of makes uh, his money back. So I, I'm kind of like trusting them that they kind of um, make the right choice yeah. in choosing a project. I was thinking back to the Gulf War last week with mm -hmm. the soldiers arriving mm -hmm. there and all the problem they had with sand in the desert. Is that something that you can emphasize with now having worked on this film? What kind of problems did, did you come across? Everything. It's like sand is like, uh, it's like, uh, it's, it's as difficult as shooting on water. Because the first thing is like everything what you do leaves steps in the sand. So you can't do certain shots twice. You have to 
either go to another dune or you have to kind of erase the, the, the footsteps, which is very hard. And, um, and every, everything what you have to transport becomes a nightmare. You know, you have, I've never seen so many stuck vehicles in my life. You know, you know I was watching a, a documentary a little while ago about the making of Ben-Hur. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking of this movie with, mm -hmm. with all those extras on mm -hmm. the big sets. Mm -hmm. Was there ever a point in the production when you were sitting there looking out at this huge mm -hmm. expanse mm -hmm. of people that you thought back to those old Hollywood films? Sure, it, like, it hits you probably the first time you see it in real life, you know, when we had like one of the first shots we did was like a, a big crane shot and you saw like people endlessly in the dunes and the crane goes down and the animal comes through and you see like your two lead characters and then you turn around the camera and then all these people down there and then you say all of a sudden it hits you, well, God, is this like a big scene, you know, it looks like one of these old movies, you know. <laughs> but it's, it hits you when you actually do it. Before that it's always like, you say, nah, it's not that big, it's, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's okay, you know. Yeah. 